Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your morning coffee. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is going to be a general energy reading for today, Tuesday, November 27th. We are coming up on the end of November, guys. December is already here. The year is already almost over is almost over, not already over, but almost over. <laughs> Good gracious, where does the time go, guys? So this is a general reading. It's not science specific and it is not uh, love or career specific. This is, these are just the messages that Spirit has for us today. Whatever Spirit wants to talk about um, with us today. This doesn't have to resonate for this actual day. This could be something that happened in the past or this could be something that's coming on down the pipeline for you, yeah? Um, yeah. So there we go. Okay, without further ado, let's just get on into it. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective today at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today. Tuesday, November 27th, 2018. All right. So I'm seeing orange. Uh, it's bright and it's vibrant. Um, some of you may be feeling a bit of an upswing today or coming up in the week. Uh, things could be turning around for you if you've been... Um, feeling down in the dumps or, you know, going through a lot of purging or something, you know, that could be on an upswing either today or maybe sometime this week. It could last for a good period of time, I'm hearing. I mean, me personally, I'm, I feel, I'm feeling super happy today, but I, I did get, I had like three days off. Um, I had Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off basically, and it was like... It was great. I got to like rest and stuff, you guys. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I, I honestly can't remember the last time I had even two, well, three days off. You know, it was great. So anyway, <laughs> but so that's, I'm feeling good. So many of you may be getting a chance to rest and recuperate and maybe feel good and whatnot. Um, lots of heart healing, lots of chakra cleansing, still lots of purging, but I feel like the purging is kind of easing up right now. Um, if not, stick in there, you know, everything will work out fine. You, it, Whatever purging you're going through is, um, it's just a necessary part of the process and you will come out of it, you know, on the other end, feeling much better, okay? All right. So, let's see what we've got today. Tuesday, November 27th. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you so, so much. All right, we've got Justice here. And uh, the Nine of Cups. Interesting. All right, but the Nine of Cups is in reverse. So, automatically, right away, that's saying to me that for some of us, there could be some... Um, Okay, well, I'm getting justice is here in the face of, you know, wishes not fulfilled. Um, and there could be some, you know, drowning of sorrows. I feel like whatever justice this is, ooh, there we go. Whatever justice this is, is, uh, <laughs> I'm hearing he had it coming. <laughs> ooh, okay. Underneath the deck is the Queen of Swords. Yep. Queen of Swords. So let's see. I bet you, I bet you, I think all of these are reversed here. Yeah. Wow. But am I reading them reversed? Is everything reversed today? Everything is reversed today. So I don't think I'm going to read them that way. Even though they fell out that way. 
Um, I'm gonna, yeah, this is, I'm gonna turn them right side up here. All right, so we've got the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Page of Wands. Everything is in reverse, though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna consider them that way, but I couldn't really read them <laughs> with them in reverse. But honestly, what I was getting with the Nine of Cups in reverse, this is the Divine Masculine. And the only card that came out was Justice and the Queen of Swords. Upright. Right away. Like, um, Justice and the Queen of Swords are here, and they came out, you know, upright. But everything else came out reversed. And as I was looking at the Nine of Cups, I was thinking of the Divine Masculine, and... I was hearing, basically, I heard he had it coming. So I really feel like this is a reading for the Divine Masculine or Masculine Energies. And everything came out reversed. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to consider it that way. So with the Nine of Cups in reverse, I mean, your wish was being granted. But you chose not to take it, is what I'm hearing. And now that justice is being served and the Queen of Swords says, no more, I'm not doing this anymore. Now it's like you're drowning your sorrows. All woe is me, as if... I mean, I don't mean to be harsh, but what did you expect? You have the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles here. And both of these came out in reverse. What am I saying? Everything came out in reverse. Um... <laughs> You're going to have to bear with me because I'm having a little bit of trouble channeling this because this is throwing me off guard a little bit. But the six, of seven, six and Seven of Pentacles. I'm getting a message of... you. Someone here didn't... It's like you should have learned this lesson already in the balance of give and take. Or at least over the time period that, um, you know, you had this. Now, this doesn't have to be just for the Divine Masculine. This is for everybody, all right? So you don't have to be in a, on a Twin Flame journey to resonate with this. Um, because I do feel that, like this is a larger, a much larger theme. Um, this is a much larger, you know, situation than just for Twin Flames. But it's almost as if, you had the opportunity, what I'm hearing is you had the opportunity to learn this lesson of balance of give and take, to understand, you know, the fruits of your harvest, but I feel like some of you still haven't quite learned that yet. And then that leads us to the magician and the ten of pentacles. Again, everything came out in the reverse. So I still feel an energy of some of you are still, some people are still manifesting or trying to manipulate their way to the top or manifesting their Ten of Pentacles in an, in an, I'm hearing, in a narcissistic manner. Even for narcissistic reasons, materialistic reasons, not just genuinely because they want, you know, to manifest the life of their dreams. Okay, yeah, that's a big part of it, but here, this is opulence for the sake of opulence. This is desire for money just to be rich and famous and just have, like, like giving into that old paradigm. But money doesn't isn't everything. Now, here's the deeper situation. Because <laughs> we have... The Page of Wands and the Five of Wands in reverse. This inspiration towards having this kind of money, having this kind of lifestyle, manipulating your way to the top, basically, it's stem what I'm hearing is for, for those of us that are this is really resonating with, it's stemming from childhood. Uh it's and it's stemming from, you know, learning from parents or other people around you as a child that were 
severely narcissistic. This is a very specific message, guys. This is not going to resonate. I really don't think this is going to resonate with everyone, although this is, a, this is a common theme here. This is a pretty common theme within the twin flame dynamic. But I'm not, I am a twin flame guide, but I'm not, um, I try to read for everybody. I'm here for everybody, not just twin flames. But with Justice and the Queen of Swords here, again, I'm hearing you had it coming. He had it coming. The Queen of Swords would represent the Divine Feminine. So I guess this is a continuation of the reading from yesterday. And for those of you in the Divine Masculine Collective who may have seen the reading yesterday, this is for you. If you have a feminine, a Divine Feminine that resonated with that reading and, you know, you are part of the core, of the core group in which, you know, the Divine Feminine has walked away from, this would be your message. They keep saying he had it coming. And you knew. You were absolutely well aware of it. With the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles here. Even with the, the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles. Many of you were so focused on the material aspect of things. You completely missed out on the fact that with the Nine of Cups here, there was something that was coming in that was absolutely going to complete that that was going to help you that not to say that you can't manifest it all on your own don't get me wrong and for many of you that's what you wanted but there was a counterpart there was a companion that was coming in here that was going to help you manifest this and so much more and I mean and now I'm picking up that for some of you, you know, you could have seen it as someone was trying to, um, I don't know, hone in on your manifestation or, you know, take something away from you or um, it's an energy of getting in on the manifestation without actually being there from the bottom up. But that was your ego speaking because you because because in reality, whoever was coming towards you had built their own foundation to a certain extent. Now, as you went through the journey up until this moment, yes, you both were continuing to work on your foundation. However, the divine feminine in the situation was working on it from a place of wholeness and spirituality, whereas Many of the Divine Masculine were just working on it from a place of ego and materialism. And the ego was really getting in the way. Wow. <sighs> pretty depressing. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This isn't my favorite message. And it's so funny because I was feeling so good. <laughs> but also, um, with the orange color that I was seeing, now I'm seeing that there are a lot of those... Whoever is the person in which this justice is being served to, you might be in your emotions about it. That, that's probably why I was seeing orange for some of you. And also that's creating some, or generating some sort of heart chakra healing too. Now you see, the thing about this is, for many of us, this was kind of part of the plan. Now, there was an option or there was a, a possibility, a, a um, what is the word I'm looking for? An addendum maybe to the contract or, or whatever, there was a, a possibility that even going through all of this, things could still come together. You know, here with the six, six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, someone would learn the lesson and start to give in a more balanced manner, start to reciprocate. 
But that hasn't happened yet. And for many of us, the contracts have already been rewritten. Because the trajectory here is too, with the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it's too strong in this direction for the momentum to be slowed down really anytime soon. So for many of you, even though you're chasing this dream here with the Nine of Cups in reverse, well, you're chasing a dream with the Nine of Cups, but the Nine of Cups is in reverse. It's a false dream. Many of you are going to, and I'm not a fortune teller, guys, but I can already see where this is going because this is just how it goes. And this comes from a lack of authenticity. So many of you are chasing a false dream that you're going to have a very rude awakening about at some point in your life. Justice. And by the time you wake up, or by the time you finally hear this, or finally get it, it, uh, in most cases, it's probably going to be way too late for this connection. Doesn't mean you won't have another, don't get me wrong. But for this one, in which we're talking in this moment in time, it may be way too late. This is really depressing, guys. I'm sorry that I have to give this message today like this, but it's definitely a continuation of yesterday's message. Alrighty. Let's get into the clarification. I'm going to start with the Nine of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> Give me just a second here. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See what we've got. All right, guys. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Please clarify the Nine of Cups. Thank you so much, sir. Knight of Cups in reverse. Hanged Man in reverse. My, my, but with the Emperor. And, the, yeah, and the Queen of Pentacles. All right. And the High Priestess is underneath the deck here. Okay. Um, we also have... Woo! Death. Yeah, look at that. All right, so clarifying the Nine of Cups, we have the Emperor, the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Hanged Man in reverse, and Death. So, first off, what I'm getting here are mother and father figures. And it's very interesting because the mother figure here is showing up as the queen of pentacles, which to me is very much like the empress, but it's not the empress. But then the father figure is showing up as the emperor. This to me is talking about the patriarchy the overemphasis on masculinity and even the twisted or even twisted masculinity okay but that this this sort of dynamic here this imbalance in masculine and feminine energy right that society has been going through this is the root cause of this missed opportunity you could say or this wish not fulfilled and here we have the Hanged Man and the Knight of Cups. So I'm not going to say that these pe this person that that it, it, this person who wish justice is being served to at the moment. I'm not going to say they didn't want to come forward, but they were literally stuck 
They had no option. Because, well, they did have an option. Don't get me wrong. They did have an option. But um, what I'm picking up here is that option was going to be pretty catastrophic if they were to take it. Or maybe they felt like it was going to be catastrophic. As a result, though, yes, we have a sort of death of the situation, of the opportunity, of the wish. But through this, it's almost like a sacrifice. Through this sacrifice, major transformation is happening because I really feel like justice here is saying that someone is actually finally learning the lesson, but this is a really, 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 really hard way. Like kind of the hardest way, one of the hardest ways possible, okay? And with the high priestess here, yes. So here's the, here's the divine feminine showing up. But it's the, in the form of the universal teacher, a universal teacher. Overexertion of power here with this masculine energy, the emperor. This could be this could be a father figure in this person's life, or this could be the divine masculine who is influenced by maybe a karmic partner, Queen of Pentacles. That could be a mother. Doesn't have to be a romantic partner. A boss, someone in high authority, uh, you know, something like that. But basically somebody was pulling the strings and manipulating the situation to get what they wanted. But then because of that, a wish wasn't fulfilled. Um, so let's go to the seven of pentacles and the six of pentacles, please, spirit. Okay, so I'm going over there. Ah, the Magician. The Magician is in reverse here. So we've got the Magician in reverse twice. And what I'm getting with the Magician in reverse here for the Six and the Seven of Pentacles, both in reverse, um, someone didn't want to learn the lesson. Three of Swords. Wow. One more flipped over. Ugh. Three of Pentacles. Look at that. There was supposed to be a team effort here underneath the deck. It's, whoa. Oh, the Three of Cups. Wow. So you have the Magician here with the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So I'm going to go ahead and say in this situation, this is definitely talking about a third party. And for some people, for some people, it's almost as if someone was trying to, I'm getting almost an instructor. Because often the three of the, if, you, if you're familiar with the Tarot, the three of pentacles in the original Rider Waite deck is depicted as a squire or a, a, a scribe or like some sort of younger individual being guided in their, in whatever it is they're creating by two elder gentlemen, one being of the clergy, probably one being of the government or something like that, right? And that's what I'm getting here. A younger individual or someone perceived to be younger, less mature, less educated, something like that, was being guided by adults or people who had experience, stature, I put that in air quotes, guiding them on how to, I'm hearing, build their empire. But they were guiding them all wrong. Three of Swords, Magician in Reverse. Now the silver lining here is the Three of Cups. While yes, this does talk about third parties, this also talks about union, union, mind, body, and spirit. 
So I feel like there's a glimmer of hope because someone is kind of starting to wake up to this. Now, this is not something I think is going to really happen right away, but I think someone's, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm feeling like someone is, gonna, is starting to wake up. Mainly because of justice here. And with the Nine of Cups, I keep hearing a missed opportunity. Even though the Nine of Cups in reverse doesn't really... I guess it can mean that. I mean, the official missed, missed opportunity card is the Four of Cups. But yeah, this is a, a missed opportunity on like a grand scale. Because it's more than just the Four of Cups. It's the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. So let's go here to the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles, both in reverse. Please clarify, okay, the Two of Wands. So there was a big decision to make. That makes sense. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Oof. <laughs> oh, gosh. The Nine of Swords is underneath the deck. So I really feel like someone doesn't know how to get out of this type of manifesting energy. You have the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Um, oh, gosh, the Two of Cups. Good Lord. And the Five of Wands. Oh man. I want what I want. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is heavy, you guys. This is a lot. But you see here, look. Okay, look. The Ten of Pentacles and the Magician in reverse, right? Manifesting your ultimate goal, your ultimate material existence, your ultimate family life, having that big house with the car and, and the, 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 the massive pool and all that shit, right? Well, look, someone had a choice to make. Someone had a choice to make. But look at what was standing in the way of that choice. The Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Now, you could be optimistic and look at this as, ooh, five, five, five. Yeah. But what does the other, what, what, what else is symbolized by fives? Well, what is symbolized by fives? Change. Challenge. Struggle. This was, and it's all on top of the two of wands, which is big spiritual choice. Wands are a spirit. This was a big situation, guys. This was massive. And the implications of this choice, should it went in the way of the Nine of Cups upright, there was all this to deal with. The opposition from other people, the lying, the cheating, the backstabbing, the one-upmanship because somebody left, feeling left out in the cold from everybody that you knew. I mean, this was not an easy choice to make. Page of Cups, Two of Cups. Apologies, sure. Maybe an, maybe an apology is owed, an apology is due, all right, but like, whatever. In the face of all of this right now, like, okay, yeah, an apology might be due, but damn, that's not even, like, like whatever. That's nothing compared to, like, what people were actually really going through in this situation. So what it came, when it came out in the beginning of the reading, it's like, well, damn, bro, you, you, you fuck, done fucked up. But now that we're getting clarification, do you guys see really what these people were up against? This is not an easy thing. This is not a situation where you could just like snap your finger and be like, okay, well, I'm gonna go this way now. Everything's gonna be good. No. This had major implications. Much of what the divine, just like the divine feminine, but what, like, much like what the much of what the divine masculine has been going through, is ancestral. This is lineage. 
And while many of us in the Divine Feminine Collective have sat here and like, well, just make a decision. This is what you really want anyway. It really was never just that easy. It was never that easy. There were major... The only thing we're missing right here is the Five of Cups. But look at this. It's like the Three Amigos. The Five of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. Major implications, guys. Okay? But now, the silver lining for this, because the Two of Cups and the Page of Cups did come out to clarify the Ten of Pentacles and the Magician in Reverse. So now, through all of this change, all these fives here, someone has an opportunity to dream up some sort of union. I really feel like someone is dreaming about the union within, even though they may not necessarily necessarily know it. So th this is leading someone to think about, well, what it is that I truly want. And for some of you, I'm picking up, it's because they're watching you go after what it is you want and saying, well, wait a second, why can't I do that? The million dollar question. That's really, I, that's really kind of the question that was needed to be asked the whole time. What do I really want? Why can't I go after what it is I truly want? Why do I have to do what everyone else around me says? Wow. You guys, this is deep. <laughs> oh. All right, finally, I'm going to clarify the Page of Wands and the Five of Wands. Okay, look, we have the Five of Wands twice on the board here. Now, the Page of Wands and the Five of Wands, this was the energy of being as a child or a younger or easily influenced towards inspired action. But this was inspired action that was inspired by others outside of this person with the Five of Wands here. So it basically led them in almost the wrong direction. And I say almost because... It's not quite the wrong direction because ultimately they're learning, people are learning something from this, okay? But let's get clarification here. Thank you so much, Spirit. Oof. Oof. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have, oh, 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 we have the Queen of Swords again. And now this is making sense. Because I'm seeing the chariot. Here, okay, here's the four of cups. Here's the officially. Here's the missed opportunity. All right, um, I'm seeing the chariot with the wheel of fortune and the three of wands. And I'm looking at this. And I'm like, well, that's interesting. Why are why are things moving? Why are things changing? Why is there a return on an invest? Or why are you waiting on a return on an investment now? But that's because of the energy of the queen of swords. Okay, someone is really starting to cut some shit out. Wow. And then the Seven of Swords and the Four of Swords flew out and landed on this Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles here, right? So there's an energy of almost planning an escape with the Four of Swords and the Seven of Swords. It's like someone's resting, someone's biding their time, someone is getting their shit together, in a sense. <laughs> it's funny because the, queen, the, the, the divine feminine in the situation, or some, some, this doesn't necessarily have to be all about twin flames, okay? Like I said before, but someone, one part of the equation, peaced out and said, hell no, I'm not doing this anymore. Goodbye with the queen of swords and served up some much needed justice. But now the other part of the party, the other half of the equation, is following suit with the Queen of Swords. And as a result, they're changing their direction. They are going after what it is they truly want now. 
with the chariot and the wheel of fortune. All in the face of this missed opportunity. But you see, ooh, I'm going to sneeze. False alarm. <laughs> okay. Um, I really love how the Four of Cups is depicted in this deck because of the, instead of this person being so focused on the Three of Cups, now they're focused on the Ace of Cups. That Ace that the universe was trying to hand to them in other decks that they're not even trying to look at. Well, now the tables have turned. And circumstances has caused this person to turn away from the Three of Cups and to focus now on the Ace of Cups. What is the Ace of Cups? That's self-love. And for those of us in, the, in the, the Twin Flame Collective, that's what the Divine Feminine has been focusing on for quite some time now. And it seems... <laughs> it seems to me, or at least the cards are telling a story for some of us right now in which it took the Divine Feminine completely walking away for good for the Divine Masculine to start actually doing this work and investing now in themselves and what it is they truly want rather than investing what in what everyone else wants for them. And it wouldn't, and I'm, I'm, oof, ooh, wow, Spirit. Spirit is asking me to take that statement back a little bit because it's not even like they were investing in what other people wanted for them. In many cases, it was investing in just what other people wanted, period. Regardless of it was, regardless, not even like, I can't even put it into words, but I think you guys get what I'm saying. It was completely selfish and narcissistic. It was like, well, I want this and, and you're, you're so-and-so to me, so you're supposed to provide it to me. Oof. Oh, I'm not going to say that. And I heard someone reply as if they were a slave. I'm not going to say the words that I heard, but I'm going to but I heard someone reply as if they were a slave. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. God bless that is heartbreaking. But ultimately, it is a lesson that needed to be learned. I'm hearing that the divine masculine in many cases needed to be put in a position that they put others in. And this is not just with the divine feminine. This is over centuries of narcissistic, twisted masculine abuse. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and say that I don't know if this is necessarily happening for everybody right now, but this is coming. This is an energy that's coming through right now. But this is all part of the grand design though, right? Good Lord. We have to balance the scale somehow, guys, because I, I, I literally just heard some of you asking, why do we have to go through all of this? We have to balance the scale somehow. That's why. And it's painful, I get it, but. But hey, we'll survive. We got this. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into the Oracle cards here. Somebody is really apologetic. Two of Cups, Page of Cups. Someone's really sorrowful. And like, I, I, I kind of want to cry right now. It's like the odds were stacked heavily, heavily against them. It's like they almost didn't even have a chance. But this is a big lesson, a big lesson. Because if, if they had, whoever this is for, whoever this, whoever is on the receiving end of this justice, if you had trusted in the divine, things actually might have worked out much, well, would have worked out much better than you expected. 
and not saying it wouldn't be, it still wouldn't be rough. It wouldn't be a hard thing to get through. It wouldn't be major, major change, but. But now, now that the seed has been planted of this lesson, it will be easier moving forward to trust in the universe, trust in the divine. But it's still heartbreaking. Alrighty. Ooh. Here we go. Animal Spirit Guides. Best message, please, for today, Tuesday, November 27th. There we go. There's one. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay. Scorpion. Whoa! <laughs> Underneath the deck is Dragonfly. So Dragonfly is about um, changing perspective. It's about being able to surf the emotions really, really well. Dragonflies do live on water and they're able to skitter through. Um, this is about mental flexibility, changing one's perspective, changing one's viewpoint, all right? And then we have Scorpion. <laughs> scorpion. And Scorpion, uh, first of all, is talking about Scorpio season. Yes, we just came out of that. But I wanna read that. I'm gonna read both. I'm going to start with Dragonfly, though. Where is you, Dragonfly? There you are. Dragonfly, master of light, illusion, and the mind. The Dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature, ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder in all. The Dragonfly is a symbol of the mind, as it's always moving, moving shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the Dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are they restless or still, dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The Dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. When in balance, Dragonfly sees clearly, is joyful and magical. When out of balance, Dragonfly can't concentrate and has a busy mind. To bring into balance, one must focus on the breath, okay? So that's quite poignant, guys. So then here, the official message here is Scorpion. Here we go. Passionate, competitive, tends towards isolation. The Scorpion is a passionate and determined creature. Their career is very important to them, as are a few select friends. Sometimes the, scorp sometimes the scorpion's heat festers, and they focused on an unresolved event from the past, usually a situation where they were left feeling, quote, burned. The scorpion card says, it's time to come clean about your feelings so everyone can heal and you can get back to your usual fiery but fun self. Wow. When in balance, scorpion is wild, free, and fierce. When out of balance, scorpion is jealous, resentful, and unresolved. To bring into balance, one needs honesty, but also forgiveness. So this goes for both sides of the equation here, guys. Yes, someone may need, may need to apologize. Yes, someone may need to be open and honest about their feelings and about what they've been really going through. But also, someone on the other end of the situation needs to work on forgiving. And I, I already feel the resistance. I already hear some of you, I'm not forgiving that that SOB, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. But you need to understand, if you, even if you're not forgiving them for them, forgive for you. Because the longer you hold resentment, the longer you take to actually forgive the situation, the longer you are still trapped by the emotions of it. You're not going to be able to be released from the situation until you make peace with it. And making peace is forgiving. I want to pull some whispers of love here because we need we need some love here, y'all. And then I'm gonna end with the crystal mandala, or should I end with the light? Crystal mandala is better. All right. Some loving healing messages, please, spirit, from the whispers of love. Thank you so much, spirit. Let me see what else. Anything else? 
anything else. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. On the bottom of your deck, express love through gifts. Give a small token to express someone your ex giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. Okay, this could be an apology. Just say, "Hey, look, I know I messed up. I'm sorry." You don't. We don't have to talk about it. You don't need to take anything else from me. I just, I just want to let you know. I know I messed up, and I'm sorry. I mean, easier said than done, even though that's just a small apology, you know, it's like that could probably take some serious balls. <laughs> Not going to lie. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. This goes for both sides of the equation. I just saw 45, 55 on the counter, 555 five, five again. Big change, guys. Big, 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 big change. <laughs> All right. But back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. And this is mostly on the divine masculine side because the divine feminine has really gone through a lot of this already, okay? She's a little a little bit ahead of the game in knowing a little more of what she wants moving forward. Again, this doesn't have to only resonate with twin flames. This could be this is a big this is a big universal lesson. But I feel like twin flames are probably leading the charge on this. Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look how committed you are to love. Well, hell yeah. Because even though this is a tough situation, guys, everybody needs to be approached with love and understanding and compassion. And what is next here? Practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. I mean, think about it this way, guys. Yes, yes, yes. There absolutely was a choice to be made here. The two of wands on the magician and the ten of pentacles in reverse. The two of wands. Yes, there absolutely was a choice to be made. But look at what was standing in the way. The five of swords. The five of wands. The five of pentacles. This was no easy feat. So while we can sit here and, and, and grope and gripe and bitch and moan about how so-and-so um, just decided not to, the, the, the universe handed so-and-so this cup and they just decided not to take it and to just to pour it out and stay where they were, think about the implications. Like for just a second, take a step back and think about the implications here. Think about what it would have truly meant, what they would have truly had to go through, the destruction that truly would have come into place. Not to say that it didn't need to come down. That's not what I'm saying. But just for a moment, think about how hard that is, how hard that would have been. And then for the Divine Feminine, think about it this way. All of this was being asked to happen in a relatively short amount of time. Think about how long it took you to go through your awakening, Divine Feminine. I mean, I'm going to attest to that. My awakening lasted for damn near seven years. So, what? <laughs> I, I, I apologize if I'm becoming confrontational at this point, but it's like, honey, it's in the cards. Okay. I'm going to... All right, this is intense. I'm going to close out the reading with a, a message from the Crystal Mandala Oracle. Y'all, I swear to God, I am starving right now. And if any of you, this is so off topic, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to lighten the mood here. If any of you would join me for a happy hour last night, you know that I made some, I made some, a big old pot of pasta sauce. And let me tell you, I overate like crazy. Like when I got into bed that more that night, I was like roly poly -oly, you know, but now I'm starving. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. That was a total sidebar. Okay. Closing message here from the Crystal Madonna Oracle. <sighs> Thank you so much, spirit. Here we go. Best message, please. Closing message, please. Just one. There we go. 
Got it. Okay. All right. We've got, ooh, Goddess Hecate and Mika, Crossroad of Destiny. All right, let's read that. Okie dokie. <sighs> we bring you the empowerment of Crossroad of Destiny. You are at a pivotal point on your life journey. This may be obvious to you with a potential life-changing decision before you, or you may not realize the impact that an apparently insignificant choice is going to have on your future. Either way, you are at a point where you can leave the past behind and chart your course for a new adventurous chapter to begin in your life. This is not something you need to be frightened of. It is a sign you are progressing on your path. The crossroad of destiny happens when you have mastered a cycle in your life and a new cycle is before you. It is an opportunity that you can take best advantage of by listening to your heart. Let's see. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read this paragraph here. This oracle comes to you with a message. Let all your choices come from your heart. If it feels right for your heart and there is joy there, even if you have to search beneath all of all the what if something goes wrong, fears of the mind to find it, then do it. If you have recently made such a decision and are waiting to see if the sky is going to fall in on top of you, this oracle affirms you have crossed the threshold into a new way and that it is and that it is time to leave the fears of the past behind you. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Whew. Yet another intense message, you guys, but hey, we're all learning. We're all healing here. All right. Um, thank you all so much for joining me. Much, much love to you guys. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow for our next cup of coffee. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.